Hey there. Hope everyone is having a good day. Um, today is Thursday. Um, I've decided that I'm going to do videos on Mondays and Thursdays uh, because that's what works for me. So, and I was doing like four or five a week and it just got to be a lot. So, Mondays and Thursdays is going to be my day. So, that's when you guys can expect new videos. So, today, um, I'm doing kind of a mosaic situation. Um, and it's a pretty easy technique, as are most of what I do. Um, but it looks really cool on the end. So we'll go ahead and start. So this is black. Um, you can use whatever base you want. I'm using black. And this is rolled out on a little four, so it's pretty thin. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to use my spray. I'm going to use my copper spray. Shake it up really good. And I'm just going to put a couple of sprays on top of this. It covers really well, so you don't need too much. So we're going to let that dry. And doesn't normally take too long. So we'll wait for a minute. Nothing like watching paint dry. I'm gonna pause this, I'll be right back. Okay, it's pretty much dry. Um, and then I'm just going to take my regular alcohol ink. This is sky blue. And I'm just going to paint some ch -ch -ch over it. So it makes a cool little pattern that looks like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to do the blue over the copper because it almost gives it a patina kind of look. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to go off camera again and let that dry. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is how that dried. You can see it's kind of a shimmery blue copper. So what we're gonna do, take it off your paper towel if you had it on one. And then I have another slab of black. This is rolled out to a two, so it is thicker. I'm gonna have that at the ready. And then take your blade, make it nice and square at the bottom here. And we are going to cut squares. First we're going to do lines across. You can do different size lines, um, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do them pretty uniform. Um, but I've done it before where you have some fatter, some thinner, you know, taller, whatever. And then when you put them on, it looks really cool. But we're just going to do squares today. So the easiest way to do this, <clears throat> excuse me, is just to get an exacto. And I'm actually going to make this square as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I like to do it random um, so that it's not, they're not pieces that are all exactly right next to each other. Let me do this real quick.
Ugh. Guess I'll start here. Um, so it doesn't look too matchy-matchy. You kind of want it to look, you know, more mosaic-y. And then another thing you're going to do is leave spaces. All right. I'm guessing that I didn't cut enough here. Yeah. Yeah, these look good. So I'm just gonna put this in the light. I'm gonna lay these down next to each other and then just keep going. Um, you can do alternate for your next row so that it would be like this or you can just have it go how you you know in rows straight across so i need to cut these better It's a little time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. If you want to cut a little piece in half and put it there, um, that's fine also. Having a hard time seeing this. So just keep going until you have filled the whole thing up. And this is where you fast forward. I would stop it, but I've already stopped it twice. So it's easier probably for you to just go ahead and fast forward. Oh. All right, we're not using that piece. Well, I guess the trick is make sure that you cut deep enough through these pieces so that they're not so difficult to get up. And you might come up with an easier way to applying everything, but for me, this is what works. Sorry about that. When you do the um, the copper spray with this blue, it almost has an abalone kind of look. It's really pretty in person. And of course, you can get Trays Clay Spray at TraysClay.com. I appreciate you guys supporting me. I've sold a lot of it. Um, and it means a lot. I guess that means you like it. Oy. 
Almost there, guys. Like I said, you might find an easier way. Um, but for me, this is this was the easiest way. And also experiment with, you know, the size and how you want to lay down your pattern and everything else. Endless possibilities. We're going to hang off a little on this bottom one, but that's okay. Finally, yay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna move this a little closer to me. But that's how that looks, as you can see. And I'm just gonna roll it really lightly just to make sure everything is on there. I don't really want to distort, and I don't mind the um, the oh the um, the raisedness um, because I am going to resin it. So, all right, so I'm just going to cut out some shapes. I'm going to cut out my handy dandy rectangle here, and hopefully I'll have enough room for maybe something else. But let's start here. This thing is a mess. My table is so stained from alcohol inks because that's literally all that I do. So it's just going to be a rainbow under me at some point. So I'm going to do those and then I'm going to do smaller ones also. I'm finding that um, people that come to shows and whatnot really like the smaller earrings. Do I want to do that or do I want to do kitties? Because I'm obsessed with kitties. Well, making kitty earrings anyway. Hmm. I'm going to make kitties. Kitties it is. The kitties sell really well. FYI. Okay, so there we go. With that, let me get these up, fix them up, show you what they look like. This is how they look. So I'm going to go ahead and fix these all up. Always do your housekeeping before you bake, then there's less to do when it comes out. So I'll go ahead and bake these and get them all done. And I'll show you how they look when they are finished. Okay, I'm back. Um, so these have been baked. Bake everything at 275 for 45 minutes. Um, and then I went ahead and resined them. Um, and I did a little bit different um, with my little earring findings today. I did a teeny tiny little gold spacer, daisy spacer, and then a bigger silver um, instead of just a single one. So there are two on there. I don't know if you can tell. 
Um, but that's how they turned out. It almost looks like um, bricks to an old building or something. They're really cool. So go ahead and um, comment if you like or don't like or have any uh, constructive criticism. <laughs> um, you can buy the Trey's Clay Spray at treysclay.com. That's T-R-E-Y-S. Uh, join Happy Place Studio on Facebook. Um, feel free to share your website or your Etsy or anything else on there. Go ahead and promote yourself. Um, show your work. All that fun stuff. And I will see you on Monday. Have a great rest of your day, tomorrow, weekend, and see you Monday. Bye.